Okay, hello everybody, this is Budrich. I just want to share some, some stuff here that I have f just found today. Uh, the time is 13.37, important. Uh, I found this page here for reasons uh, that I might uh, explain. Um, some old old uh, page here from 2010, Pratik Sina. Uh, here have a very small, short uh, little C program here uh, that lets you send stuff to uh, terminals. We get back to this. Uh, because, I don't know, um, what, what I've been trying to do here uh, this uh, morning uh, is um, I would like to, to create a, uh, when I run my Hugo uh, web page uh, development, development stuff, I would like to, to automate that process to automatically open like uh, a pale moon window with, with uh, only the, the home page, something. Uh, now it's not open, but whatever. And uh, 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 also, a dedicated terminal running the the Hugo uh, server and stuff like that, and I I thought to myself it, it would be really nice if I if I could start and stop that server uh, from from scripts you know and start it inside the terminal that I want it to be running from whatever. Um, and I went into this uh, rabbit hole that is uh, sending uh, stuff to different terminals. Uh, and it was kind of uh, enlightening. Uh, I, I have learned a couple of things here. So I, I just want to make this video here and share some, some of those finds. Uh, maybe one day I will write a little blog post of my own about, about this stuff. But whatever, now we're doing this video. So, as you know, I use URXVT as my terminal editor. Uh, maybe we should do it here. This. Um, and let's just start a URXVT uh, instance here. If I just type the command URXVT, it will start a URXVT window. And this terminal is now, now locked up. If I do Control C here, it terminates that, whatever. Uh, but most of the time I don't actually use this, or I never use this urxvt command. I actually execute it with urxvtc for child process. Uh, and that means that this command is then, or this terminal window uh, uh, is, um, is a child window of, of a background daemon process uh, called urxvtd. Uh, and this is the main reason I am using URXVT uh, is because you can, can have this setup with a daemon process and, and then uh, all child process of, of that daemon, they share a lot of resources, making it very lightweight uh, when you have many open uh, terminals, which I normally do. But if you only have one terminal open at a the time, then, then your XVT is kind of bloated in a way. But when you have this setup, it, it, it's great. But it has some drawbacks uh, uh, running it like a daemon process. One is that um, it's really hard to, to find, to identify the terminals. Um, and identify the terminals. I, I, I'm not sure which order I should uh, take things in here now. But if, if you run this command, tty, if you run that in a terminal, it will print uh, a path here. And if we run it in this terminal, it says uh, dev pts4. This terminal it says dev pts1. And this actually prints uh, the, the some kind of a file uh, that, that uh, belongs to this terminal. It's like the, the identifier for, for these terminals somehow. I, I'm not really sure exactly what it is. Uh, I guess it's like a sim, sim link to standard in file descriptor for this terminal or something, whatever, whatever. It doesn't really matter exactly what it is, you know. 
uh, but you can do some cool things when you have these addresses here. So here we have PTS4. And if I'm in this terminal, then I could do echo hello4 and then redirect that to that uh, file descriptor there, PTS4. And now, as you can see, it uh, echoes that uh, that text is appears here. Um, but it just uh, echoes that text here, it doesn't do anything, it just prints that text um, text here. And that's more or less the only thing you can do with this uh, send uh, characters of, of text. It doesn't work, I cannot send like a command to, to this terminal and have it executed here. Uh, I could do like like this, this would work. Um, if we do ls here, then you see, it prints here a file listing, but it is actually the ls from this terminal. Uh, it would look different here, I guess, because this is a different directory. So in one way, you can redirect stuff like this, and, and you, I guess you could even do uh, echo nice pipe to figlet pipe to lolcat redirect to dev pts4. And there, we see we get the nice here, but it is a bit weird, weirded out here, but uh, we at least get different colors and stuff. And that is uh, kind of important here to understand that you can send uh, escape characters, you know, that, that, that changes the colors. Uh, you can also change like uh, the fonts. Uh, you can change fonts and colors and stuff with these escape uh, uh, characters, but you cannot really execute uh, other commands and that was uh, what I wanted to do uh, and that's how I ended up here mm, But another thing I, I, I wanted to be able to do was to to know The address here that the PTS address of, of the different win terminal windows here without uh, actually have, having to open them and type TTY because you, you, you can never make sure uh, what this address is. It, it depends on the order they are open, you know. So I thought it would be great if I could, um, yeah, we, I have also fixed my, my advanced uh, title bar thing here now. So if I click here, we can see this terminal is called term small here, and this one is called corner term. This one is just called the URXVT. But um, it would be nice, I thought, if, if I could uh, just um, somehow use the instance name here uh, and then do some x2 tool magic or something to, to, to find out uh, this PTS address somehow. But uh, it was... Uh, I, I kind of got stuck, stuck on that. I, I couldn't, couldn't identify uh, the terminals like that. And the reason I think is because of this uh, daemon process, uh, daemon child process setup I have. Mm. Let's see, I have a command here. Let's see, let me do this also. PS, there we have it. So PSEF, uh, that, uh, that just lists a bunch of processes and the information about them. And here we can also see that some of the processes uh, are linked to uh, or are executed from, from a terminal. Here is this the actual process that execute this process listing. And it was done in PTS1, this terminal. And here we can see bash is running on PTS5. So here we actually have a... a the information that, that we want in, in one way, you know. And we also have here, uh, this is the parent uh, uh, process ID, and this is uh, the, the, the child process ID. Uh, and this is uh, urxvtd, this is the daemon process ID. So I, I, I made a, a, a quick little, little uh, uh, awk thing here where I store the, the urxvtd uh, pid in a variable, send that to awk and then see if, if uh, the third column uh, had the same value as that uh, parent urxvtd pid, then it uh, prints the lines. So these are all the child uh, uh, processes of urxvtd. 
and we can see each of them have have their own uh, terminal uh, PTS address here. But that's as far as I uh, uh, can take this. We can also see which uh, command is running. So, so here, for example, in one terminal, Pale Moon is is uh, currently running. That's this one here. Uh, so sure, I could identify this terminal if I knew I was looking for for one that was executing this command. But that's not really what I'm looking for. You know, I want to identify by looking at the 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 instance name. This terminal is called browser term for, for instance. Um, and you can use like x2 tool um, and then you can search uh, and then we can do class name and then let's do uh, browser term. If we do that it will print the window ID of that window. Um, but uh, what is it now? Get window pid. Yes, here. When I do this, now it prints the, the process ID of, of the browser term window. But as you can see, that is the same as this parent process ID, the urxvtd daemon. So I can never, uh, I don't know how to find the right P PTS uh, address here, which is what I want. I if it would print this one, for example, or this is, this is the correct one, you know, then it would be easy. Then I could just compare that result with, with this and, and uh, print the, the fifth column here instead. Mm, and I'm not sure uh, how to achieve that really. So I thought to myself, is there any other way to do this? Uh, and one uh, really, really dirt hacky way is uh, to send to use the these escape codes that you can set the uh, colors and, and fonts and stuff. You can also use it to set the window title of a terminal. And I, I believe this works in, in most terminal emulators, not just URXVT. And here I have already prepared uh, that command here. I know it's 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 like uh, very very crazy syntax here. But this uh, escape code here, uh, zero, it, it sets the title. So we can set here, custom title. And it will set the title of this particular uh, terminal window. And of course, as you could see there, uh, if I just change this to, to uh, have the text being the output of TTY, it will, ah, that's of course. I've done some, some weird stuff here with i3, just, Give me a second here. Uh, there it is. Comment that out. Reload i3. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Good. So. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay. Okay. Whatever. Um, Now, now it says the title here to dev PTS5. Uh, and then I can easily know this is PTS5, this window, you know. And of course I can know that because I have eyes and I can read the title bar here, so good for me. Uh, but, um, and, and we could set, just do a quick dirty thing here, if we set the, the we can set the instance name and actually the title by using the name option here to urxvt, urxvt uh, and then we can set it to uh, test uh, inst whatever. And now we can see the title is test inst, but also the instance name here is test inst. Uh, and if we change the title with that, it, you see it only changes the title, but the instance name is still test inst. And then when you have this set up uh, with a unique instance name or something, then you can use x2 tool to find out what the title is, and then you can use the title to find the, the, the PTS address in scripts and stuff. But of course, you need, then you uh, have to, to enter this command here uh, after you have created the window, because before that you don't know which window or the TTY address and stuff. But that's also 
something that's uh, possible to do here from, from the command line or from a script, of course. Uh, if we use the E option to your XVT, meaning execute, and this means execute a command. It's important that this E option is the last of a URXVT command like this. Because now everything after after the E here will be interpreted as the command to execute. So if we t test it with htop for instance. Now we've created a um, window, uh, instance name, test inst, uh, title, htop. So I guess uh, it sets the, 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 the last command as uh, the title, whatever. If I um, quit uh, htop here, you see, then it just closes the window because that's the only thing that's running in this, uh, uh, in this window. There is one dirtac or dirtac, but it's uh, uh, the hold option. If you use that and execute, and now if we quit here, you see, then it will not close the window when the, the command is, is terminated. But now you are left with this stupid window that doesn't do anything. You cannot even type in it. It's just a terminal emulator. It, it isn't running any shell. It isn't running anything, really. I don't really know what was the use case for this is. Um, so what we want, would like to do is, is, if we want to do this, htop is to, to after htop uh, is done, uh, go back to bash and we could just write this okay ah that's right that's right Th this doesn't work and uh, now because uh, now you need to do you can write this i believe bash c and so, so the command to execute your XVT with is bash, and the command we execute bash with is htop and bash. I know it's it's weird, but this works. And now it opens your uh, htop, uh, quit, and it goes back to bash, and we we will have the terminal until yeah bash exits as well, I guess. Or maybe if I exit here, since we have hold. Yeah, then we are uh, left with this. So, so the hold option, I don't know. Uh, I will not use that because now we have this, and then we can do exit, and it will, then it, then it will reach the end of the command, so to speak, and and, and terminate the window. Um, but one thing, one more thing we can do here is let's see. I think I have it here, right? There it is. What we can do is we can add this title changing command, which is also it's echo is also a command, you know. If we add that here uh, before htop as the first command, um, like this. Now it should create a window uh, with the name test inst, uh, and then but set the window to changed everything worked and it worked the, the window title is changed here and this will now also work with um, if we set this to tty and here I know this is th this can be really difficult to understand why this is working really because this should expand to the tty from, from of, of this terminal you know but uh, you have to have to understand how quotes works here single quote that means uh, everything within these single quotes will, will just be interpreted as raw text. So it will not expand anything here. And even this double quotes is also like raw and passed, passed as, as one single command here to bash. And then it kind of evaluates this command, but whatever, it works. Now we have PTS5, and that is actually the name of this terminal. So F10. And we can send this uh, title changing things to uh, terminals and stuff, you know. So if I send this to, to PTS5 here, now we can see the, the, the title changed of that terminal. But with this magic command here, when you uh, create terminals and, and append this first, then, then it will always set the title to, to the uh, PTS uh, address. But of course, uh, if you do that, 
you will the, the drawback is that you will have an ugly uh, title here with saying dev pts6 maybe that's not so fun you know but since we are using i3 just as you could see here i can just uh, add a, a, a for window rule here uh, matching any window with the class name urxvt which is the default class name here for urxvt windows but it also looks for uh, urxvt windows that uh, have a title that starts with this text here if that is true then it says the title format here to this string here which uh, just just to test here custom so reload i3 hello can you hear me good and try this again now it should set the title format to your xvt costume and title format that's just a eternal i3 thing it still have the title dev pts5 we never really changed the title we just changed uh, the title format and the instance name is test inst and the class is your xvt so now we have all kinds of good good stuff here uh, and ways to identify uh, our window if we would want to do this sending uh, text to it but let's get back here to to this this uh, weird program here that let us uh, not just send text we can uh, we can uh, execute commands in in terminals it's kind of like um, whatever so i i haven't found this uh, anywhere else uh, it was supposed to be on a github but that github was broken but what you do is you copy this uh, open Sublime or your text editor of choice, uh, then create like a Durtac directory somewhere, and there you save this uh, program, uh, tty echo, I believe he, he, he calls it, dot c, paste, save, uh, open that directory in a terminal and then execute make ah make tty echo and there you can see it uses the c compiler to create an executable file here called tty echo and now tty echo uh, uh, actually let you uh, execute commands uh, let's just demo this here with this old old method here first um, so we close this one or we can just close hdop and we know this is pts5 so uh, we can echo this to change the title now it's uh, called something for some reason no th this one is called change uh, getting getting confused here so what we could also do uh, for example this ls there you see now it prints uh, uh, the output of, of this ls here but it is actually the output of the ls from this terminal so this this one it doesn't execute ls here it just it executed here and then just redirect the output to this terminal in this ugly fashion here you also get this weird uh, line and, and the cursor stops here and stuff it's it's uh, kind of uh, annoying and weird uh, but with this tty echo command here we can actually execute the ls in this terminal in this terminal from this terminal so you do that by executing tty echo and then you add dash n uh, then the address of the terminal dev pts5 and then the command ls here for instance there nothing happened and that is because you need to use, you need to have sudo privileges to to execute this so if we add sudo here now you can see it works and now it doesn't it really doesn't ls here just as if you would have typed it in this uh, terminal but as you can see it never activated this terminal whatsoever um, and this is kind of cool um, i don't know if there are any more advanced yeah let's do htop there you see now it opened htop here uh, and it is actually running in this terminal i can quit here normally and it yeah it kind of works fine you know 
One drawback though is that you need to use sudo, making it a bit inconvenient to use in scripts and stuff, but there is like a, 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 a workaround for this. Uh, I haven't really tried it, but let's do that now. You, you do sudo chown root root dty echo and then you do sudo chmod u plus s tty echo and now we are supposed to be able to run this without sudo privileges and it works perfect cool i don't really know how this stuff works but it it do work uh, one really cool thing here, uh, I haven't tried this, um, the, the reason you, you use n here is because uh, it, it, it sends uh, like a enter or a new line uh, character. If, if, we, if we don't use n here, you will see it will just print ls here without pressing enter, so to speak. But if we do that, then this happens, you know. Uh, and this means uh, you, you you can send like anything to a terminal like this, and and it works for any kind of terminals and programs that runs in a terminal. For example, uh, he, here you have an example uh, uh, for for Vim. So I don't know. I don't know Vim. You know. Um, so I don't know. Is it file? Is that how you open a file? And then bash rc no lines in oh, god damn it <laughs> should have prepared this uh, open i don't know uh, bash rc new director what, what what did i do now um Whatever you could you you could use this to uh, now we should be able to to quit out of Vim here Vim if we do Q is it Q exclamation mark uh, and then with an N here well, let's try it without without uh, the N there you see it changed the command here and now I can just press enter there but you could also add the the N. To do things like this and this means if i uh, ha had a brain you know i would know how to open files in vim and then you could like bind this uh, to for instance a uh, 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 thunar uh, uh, or your file manager uh, command or something a custom action to open the files in your terminal application when double clicking them or whatever you know could do all kinds of weird dirt hacks with this program and this technique. I know a lot of weird stuff here and probably none of you have any clue what to do, why anyone would mess with these things. Uh, but I that's what I have done uh, this morning and uh, now I shared it with you. Um, cool stuff anyways and i always uh, wanted to, to be able to do that you know execute commands in different terminals and stuff and i guess you can have even more fun with this if you are um, yeah using ssh and stuff into uh, different devices you could change like what's printed on the screen on, on a computer or whatever you know you just imagine the crazy things you could do I have no idea what happens if you uh, try to send the command to a terminal that this someone else is using, you know, uh, <laughs> if you can access someone, someone is sitting there coding in BIM and you just send like a, a mischievous, uh, mischievous uh, <laughs> commands and stuff, I don't know. Okay, so that's what I've been doing and now I'm going to try to finish this. Uh, uh, Hugo layout thing for me so so I can keep on working on the page and I, I guess I, I, this is something that is an excellent uh, topic for a blog post I, I, uh, I suppose see you when I see you have a great day bye